Great win for our guys, really happy for our guys. Um, great environment, appreciative to our fans. And um, it was a special day honoring the, the Final Four team that, <coughs> that came back and look forward to spending a little time with, with those members and support staff members and staff and, um, and seeing coach. And um, you know, just, a, just a cool day for Georgia basketball. Our fans were great. Um, obviously played really well, it's a big win for us. Um, Kentucky is very, very good. Obviously, their NCAA tournament team. Oscar's one of the best players in the country. Did a better job on him. Um, I said post game on TV. Uh, I thought we did a much better job, and then I get the box score and see that he had 20 and 14. That's how good he is. I thought we did a great job on him. He's 20 and 14. Uh, Justin Hill continues to play really, really well. That's 13 to two assist turnover in the last couple, if I'm not mistaken. Made some threes, really struggled from three recently. I thought those were factors. I thought the biggest factor in the game, I thought Braylon Bridges played as, as hard as he's played all year. Uh, was really good, really proud of him. Um, his teammates are appreciative. He's had bigger scoring and rebounding numbers in other games, but uh, when you look down and see that he was plus 22 today, it tells you that he made a lot of winning plays. Mike, you look at the final rebound, and you guys only, uh, Kentucky won the rebounding battle by like one. Yeah. I mean, how big was that that your guys went up against them throughout this game and got their share? It was huge. I mean, it just it gave us a chance. It just gave us a chance. If we didn't hold our own at a much higher level than we did in Lexington, um, the result would have been very similar. On, on top of that, a 32 to 26 advantage in the paint, just how mm -hmm. much of that was a challenge for your team coming into this game to, to get the ball inside? Huge. Uh, to get it inside, and we had a couple high-low looks that we didn't deliver, uh, but we also had a couple pretty creative ones off uh, middle pick and rolls, and M.A. Moncrief late game uh, had a pretty good high-low to Braylon that he finished. Um, we, we, we had a bunch of paint touches off drives, too. Uh, protecting the paint, obviously, um, was, was huge for us. Um, just gives you a better chance, in our opinion, you know, to um, to slow down Oscar and also to hopefully slow down their ability on the offensive glass. So, did, just 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 did a much better job than we did up there. Um, guys played really hard. Seemed like to start this game, you guys <clears throat> were attacking, going, yeah. you know, diving for balls. What did you say that was different as far as how this team came out to open this game? Made a couple shots as part of it. Sometimes, you know, you you feel good about yourself, and then the next one. Has a tendency to go in, right? I mean, shooting is uh, it's a big factor. It's it, sometimes you, you you win games simply because you made shots, and we made it a, made them at a higher level. Really struggled from three the last couple, and had some pretty good looks. Um, not a lot, you know. Played high level defenses. SEC defense is ridiculous, but uh, tonight, you know, we, we you make six, you make three or four, and maybe you don't win the game. Um, so we converted there. Cario, I thought, off of, of off of some cuts. I thought he moved really well without the ball. I thought Braylon, again, um, not that he had seven, eight, nine assists, but he, he gets three assists at the center position, zero turnovers, made some really good decisions um, with some passes, had a timely uh, kick out three to, to Jabri, late game, really passed it well uh, in addition. So it got, we were downhill from the jump. Some of it, again, I thought was our ability to space it with Braylon, passing it, Cario cutting. Uh, early second half, I thought they did a really good job in transition D. We kind of gave into it a little bit. We weren't uh, as aggressive uh, playing as, as much downhill. Got got caught in the half court a little bit more than we wanted to, uh, to, to be. Um, but got it going back there the last 10 minutes of the game offensively. I know they, they didn't have a couple guys out today, but they also they didn't play a ton. Uh, yeah. Nevertheless, you outscored you know, the, the bench 21 to advantage. Uh, yeah, I mean, K Kentucky's a little shorthanded. Yeah. They, they are, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's part of it. Um, and, um, yeah, but they're a very good team, and, and um, you know, they're going to have you know, chances to win, to win a bunch more here down the stretch. And hopefully we can build off of this and, and prepare uh, as productively as possible for LSU coming in here Tuesday. No, no time for a day off, and uh, back at it tomorrow. I imagine there's a lot of you know, excitement in the locker room after a game like this. Yeah, definitely. Coach, coach for these guys, I mean, how gratifying is that to see them enjoying a big win like this? Very, very. You know, it's, it's been a tough stretch for us. You know, and um, we, 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 the environment at home has been great. Our record at home has been good. And we've played well at home, and we, we had a couple we didn't quite take advantage of down the stretch, of course. And that's the SEC, right? That's, that's what it is. And to bounce back like this, at home against a very good team um, is uh, 
That was great for our guys, of course. Our guys, our guys worked. We, we, we prepared well. I thought we prepared really well going in the Ole Miss game. And um, prepared equally as well today. Probably played a little bit better. Um, but again, Ole Miss had a lot to do with that the other day too. So um, <coughs> these guys will continue to work. We'll be, uh, we'll be ready to go tomorrow. But that said, it, it doesn't matter. You know, records, programs, the names on the jerseys. I mean, it's all of these teams are really good. And uh, we've got to continue to get better. Why do you think Brown's been so effective offensively the last couple of games? I can't speak to the last one. Honestly, I have to go back and, and look at some of those clips. It's, it's hard for me to remember a lot of those details from last. But I thought today he just played really hard. He took advantage of the, of the challenge that – if we don't step up at the five position today, we, we've got no chance. We might as well not show up. And, and really from the, the 8.30 shoot around this morning, he was locked in. And it, it, it's funny, you know, basketball comes first, the chicken or the egg, right? In basketball, you, you make some shots and all of a sudden you're defending at a high level. Or what you can do is defend at a high level and, and it'll you know, put you in a position to maybe just fall into a couple jump hooks. And I thought he did a really good job of that. Um, again, it started with him passing. He just played a really good floor game. I know he's a five, and we usually say that about guards, but again, he's plus 22. So he, he got himself going, and, and he fell into some deep post touches, just played really well. Happy for him. You mentioned Braylon and those little jump hooks that he has when he's, you know, executing those like he's capable. How tough a shot is that for an opponent to defend? It's hard to get to, um, and he draws fouls. He draws fouls in there a lot. And uh, sometimes, sometimes he's rewarded, you know, and. Um, He's converted at the, at the foul line a bunch, but he, he's got an ability to do it with either hand too, you know, um, and we've got to continue to, really with all our guys, how, how do we get Braylon um, off offensively? You know, how, how do we get it to him? Every time he's got a guy sealed at the right spots, uh, at the right times, um, and that's the same case really for all of our guys. He played well, uh, Cario got downhill a lot. Again, Justin Hill was really good offensively. And um, if we defend like that and rebound like that, and all of a sudden you get six or seven that, that are in pretty good rhythm uh, offensively, obviously that's, that's uh, what we're trying to get to. That we, we, we probably can beat a lot of teams when, when that's the case. Terry makes his return. What did you make of his play in almost 23 minutes? I, uh, more than anything, my message to him was just don't press. He's super competitive. Um, he's been out. <laughs> We lost last one, right? And I was a little bit uh, fearful that he was going to try to hit some grand slams, or because that's his, you know, that's his um, his personality. And, and there's a there's a lot of positive in that. You know, he's as competitive and as hard playing as anyone we have. I thought he was really good defensively. Uh, I thought he disrupted a lot with with some tips, with his hands, with his length, um, and I thought he let it come to him offensively. Uh, Justin Hill was in such a good rhythm. He's been playing so well. I thought Terry was a little bit winded there a couple times, but still gave us 23 minutes. Um, I thought he played really well. There's a stretch in that second half where Kentucky cut y'all's lead, and then you respond with 11 of the next 13 points. I mean, what does it say about this yeah. group that it didn't seem like there was panic in that moment? And the growth that you've seen in situations like that sure. compared to early in the year? Yeah, we early on we responded to adversity very poorly, and then we – we took some jumps forward, obviously, and at times we've taken a couple steps back, a couple forward, and part of the process, of course, tonight was another, obviously, a couple steps forward in that category. Had some maturity, had some connection. Didn't seem like we got overall as, as rattled as we've been, as, as, um, as defeated, you know, with our body language. We saw some of that on film from the other day. Um, but some of that, too, is, is making winning basketball plays, which allow you to feel better about yourself, of course. Um, but, but played with, with, obviously, with more mental toughness today. Cario said that there was better sense of energy in, in shoot-around and warm-ups and stuff. What do you think factored into that, and how do you make that night-in and night-out type of deal? Mm. I, again, I thought, I thought we prepped really well for Ole Miss. I felt really good about that. I thought we played – first thing I said – to our guys when we walked in the locker room the other day after our last home loss was guys, I thought we played really hard. I thought, and I'm, I'm always blunt with our guys. You know, there's, there's been a couple games there where we just didn't match that intensity. The, the, they brought the fight, they threw more punches. And, and that's the case with a lot of these SEC games. I mean, you, 
you got some hard playing, again, high level defenses, some top 25 teams, some NCAA tournament teams. And um, we've got to match everyone's fight. We just, we have to. Um, and I certainly thought we did that today. I, you know, I, I don't, I, I, I thought we did last game too, just didn't play as well as the other team. One more question. Coach Allen, just uh, with the 83 team, to be honest with you, how many opportunities have you had to interact with Coach Doolin since you've been here? Had a long sit down with him um, in the office a few months ago. And uh, it, it, it was really cool, just exchanging stories. And um, he did most of the talking. Thank <laughs> no, I, I don't believe that. Yeah, <laughs> had a chance to ask him some questions. And uh, sometimes he uh, just would uh, would follow up some answers with some other stories. And uh, it was, it was, it was really cool. Yeah, it was a, a really neat opportunity for me individually, and uh, got a pick with him, of course, and uh, look forward to meeting several others. Uh, really cool day for Georgia basketball all the way around. All right, thank you.